So I was online and I saw somebody posted a, uh, a, a video about their their uh, their Vega and the radiator setup and the fan setup. And I just wanted to share, like theirs was pretty fancy and smancy. Um, mine is not so much. It's just a typical small square Griffin aluminum radiator. I've got it mounted here so the top is closer to the engine and the bottom is further towards the bumper. So it's got a slight tilt to it. Um, I cut out the bottom cross member and at the bottom I've got a, uh, you can sort of see it here, just a, a round, round tube, inch and a quarter I want to say it is. In, in place and I welded it up here so I just made a new cross member nothing too crazy um, but yeah like I say a square square radiator bolted into the side of the core support on top I removed the uh, the cap the filler neck made a tank over here put the filler neck right here on the tank so this is the fill now so there's extra capacity for fluid overflow goes back in at the top just like it would at the bottom here underneath these pipes and tubes there's a little uh, let's see if i can get to it there's a little 90 degree fitting down here in the bottom of the tank. So the tank flows down and into the water pump. And then there's a fitting in the water pump down here that takes the fluid in. So that's how I, I solved my fill issue since it's such a tight quarters right here. The fan shroud is off of 90s Cavalier, Chevy Cavalier, four-cylinder. And it works fine, it works fine. Um, I'm running, I wanna say I'm at like 200, 210, as far as temperature runs. And that's with the turbo. Um, and it runs, it runs steady at that, at that temperature. Like 200, 200 degrees-ish. Um, yeah, so I mean, I've got no issues with this other than I guess your ground clearance. Um, as far as the upper hose, the upper hose goes, how it's got the little turn and then all that bend. This is the part number for it. It's a Dayco 71500, and that's the upper hose. As far as the bottom hose goes, I'm not totally sure. I thought I had kept that, but I don't have that. I ended up doing one of those inner springs in the bottom hose just because it kept collapsing. Um, I had some coolant and overheating issues a while ago. Um, yeah, so I just, the suction side, the bottom, I ended up putting in one of those inner springs so it wouldn't collapse. Uh, yeah, I mean, pretty, pretty straightforward. And I mean, that guy had, that I saw had a pretty fancy setup where he made aluminum plates and had fans all over the place and all sorts of things but this is I mean short short water pump I mean it's kind of tight on the room if I can show you I'm trying to show you but um, yeah I mean it fit in there I got it in there you wiggle it around it's not like a direct bolt in you're gonna have to cut some stuff and move some stuff and weld a couple things here and there so you can have ears on your radiator and and bolt it accordingly it doesn't have the rubber mounts where it just like bolts right in it's just bolted straight up straight onto the the firewall nothing too nothing too crazy here um, but yeah I mean if you guys have any questions let me know uh, happy to help out okay.